Oh, wow. It's Star Wars. You a Star Wars fan, kid? Yeah. Uh, well, I was. <laughs> hmm, okay, yeah, it's a trash fire now, but I'm playing Star Wars The Force Unleashed, which is pre-moron. Uh, what exactly are you doing? Well, obviously I'm using the Force to yank a Star Destroyer out of the sky. I thought you said this was pre-moron. Okay, yes, it's preposterous. Ah, uh, yeah, a little but bit. But come on, video games, am I right? You add things to the story just because it's fun in gameplay. Oh, so pulling down that ship is fun to play. No, not even a little. Uh, you know, it's stuff like this that convinced Disney the Force can do literally anything. Greetings all, my name is Control. I'm a professional artist and a huge fan of classic Marvel and DC Comics. You're watching the latest in a series of gaming pinup videos, so if you like what you see, think about hitting the like button on your way out and subscribe for more. Yes, it's hard to believe, but with more than 30 videos posted, Control Incorporated has up until now never created a single piece of art for Star Wars even through the deadly airborne outbreak of Baby Yoda. From China. My drawing board has remained Star Wars free for going on 10 months now. Now, some might say this has to do with hey, my- Hey, wait a minute. Did you say we have over 30 videos? Uh, yeah. I think this one will make 36. Although I don't recommend trusting my math when it comes- Control! You promised that when we hit 30 videos, you would- Oh crap. Uh-huh. Come on, make it happen, buddy! Okay, fine. My apologies to both new and regular visitors to this channel. This should probably have been done off camera. Grab the crayon or the marker, we must install the patch. So let's upgrade the cat. Okay. I'm... Not entirely sure this is worth the copyright claim. Holy crap, check me out! And my shirt's red! I knew it was red. Yeah, about that. Never beam down with Kirk. You'll... Die just before the opening credits, I know. Now would you stop wasting time and talk about Star Wars already? Right. Okay, it's more important than ever to be very specific when you talk about Star Wars these days. Just saying Star Wars can mean literally a thousand different things. Talking about Star Wars movies could mean anything from the brilliant original trilogy, the fantastic and not so fantastic prequels, and... He just chugged it. He just chugged that disgusting animal's juices right down. Okay, look, I'm not going to talk about the Disney sequel trilogy. This is a gaming art channel, and if I wind myself up thinking about that cosmic atrocity, I'll rant until the sedative kicks in. My general point was, Star Wars video games have been around almost as long as the IP itself, so drawing something based on one of them presents literally hundreds of options. So let the record show that in spite of the god-awful Star Destroyer nonsense that opened this video, I actually love Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Sadly, the game isn't discussed very much these days, particularly since several years ago it was stripped of its distinguished status as Star Wars canon. Yes, upon its release in 2008, Force Unleashed was declared to represent the actual events that spawned the Rebel Alliance as they appeared in the first Star Wars movie. Something that video games telling original stories based on movie properties don't usually get to do. I don't actually know if the last two Star Wars Battlefront games are meant to be canon, but I don't even consider the last movie trilogy to be canon. Control, keep it together. I know they destroyed your childhood. Luke frickin' Skywalker dies of nothing in a puff of smoke, alone on some stupid Scottish island. Can, can screenwriters get the death penalty? I uh, hope you're proud of yourself, Ryan Johnson. Control used to be almost normal. The one big problem with the Force Unleashed status as official Star Wars canon is the main character, Galen Marek. If you think Rey is OP, grab a dual shock and take control of this guy for a few hours. The plot is as follows. 
Darth Vader is sent by Emperor Palpatine to hunt down a Jedi Knight Kento Marek on the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk. Kento puts up a great fight. <laughs> just kidding. Vader curb stomps him. But just when Darth is about to finish him off, Kento's baby son intervenes with some precocious force telekinesis. Darth Vader has a good eye for talent, so he takes little Galen home with him to be his brand new Ahsoka. By the way, for any viewers having trouble following all this Star Wars shit, get with it! Yeah, what are you doing with your lives? Studying medicine or inventing groundbreaking technology or something? Ha! <laughs> How lame. These, these video games aren't going to play themselves, people. Yeah, get your priorities straight. So anyway, Darth trains up his new apprentice to covertly smack down enemies in his ongoing campaign to seize power from the Emperor. Unfortunately, guys named Darth tend not to be trustworthy. So Galen is betrayed and brutally wounded by his master, which eventually leads to a final smackdown where he's forced to beat the Sith out of the Galactic Empire's top a-holes. And this is where the issue of Star Wars canon rears its head in uncomfortable ways. It's uh, given in games like this that your power level increases as you make progress, but the implication here is that Galen Marek is literally as powerful as his maxed out power gauges indicate because he fairly easily beats down both Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine himself in quick succession. Any character in Star Wars canon capable of doing that would be well known throughout the galaxy. Any character who actually did do that would be talked about constantly and we're hearing his name for the first time in this game? That's requesting a bit too much suspension of disbelief for a first date. It's still a solid story at heart though, and it was the very first time I felt Darth Vader's evil descend into outright cruelty. Whereas before he was always just super cool imposing villain in my mind. For our pinup snapshot, I decided to go with a depiction of the game's final moments. Very close to the brutal conclusion of Galen's victory over Darth Vader. With some pretty major nods to artistic license. Always remember kids, your host is not paid for these drawings, so your host gets to draw it however he wants to. In this case, meaning Galen seemingly under attack by invisible force power from his opponents, and a disheveled Vader who still appears to have the upper hand. To be honest, when I began drawing, I was pretty sure I was just going to pencil a standard polished Darth. In fact, my working thumbnail sketch was exactly that but it felt slightly lazy, and I can never resist piling a bit of extra drama into these things. So here we are. I really, really hope you like it. If you do, consider giving the like button a tap to kick up some YouTube love for the channel. Make sure to subscribe for more gaming pinups and commentary, and hit the bell to be notified the second they arrive. And uh, be sure to click next week for a crash horse in drawing Australian marsupials. You're drawing Crash Bandicoot? I didn't say that.